Hello guys, your script is speaking. I'm going to talk to you about FeeCoin. There's a new information about this platform and lucky for the people who have been able to acquire uh, coin, FeeCoin, FiCoin, I don't know how you call it. But anyway, they have, first of all, they have burned 2 million of the tokens and they are, they are actually in a good way. They have uh, given us the information about um, eliminating their lending platform because what happened to Bitcoin, they are not going to have the same faith as Bitcoin. So this Bitconnect, so they said they are going to eliminate our lending platform and now we are going to work as a company which can uh, give the benefit to the shareholders by doing different things. First of all, I want to go through the changes that they have done on their um, the white paper or the planning. And if you go to their Telegram channel, the lending has been canceled. Okay. And they have a staking added to the system up to 36% per month a staking reward and when I go and look on their white paper they said when you have one dollar to thousand dollar in the staking pool then you get one percent up to one percent per month sorry, 100% per day, so daily, 1% per day, and if you have 1,001 to 10,000, 1.1% staking, and if you have 10,001 to 50,000, 1.2%. If you have more than, uh, they are not, uh, they don't allow you to have, for per account, uh, more than 5,000 uh, uh, as a staking value, but you can have a family from four different accounts and then you can have more than 50,000 uh, staking in this platform. And they have also uh, added gamic gamification to, uh, to increase the income stream for the stakeholders. And then the staking reward payment dated, uh, date altered so you can have it short term or long term a staking reward and the maximum staking as i have said is 5000 uh, sort of 50000 and if you are if you have more tokens if you acquired more tokens then you can then you have to have more accounts so per account 50000 and one good thing about this platform they uh, you you keep your tokens in your ERC wallet so they said it is safer they don't have DDS attack anymore because you you are owning your own um, uh, tokens in your wallet and for staking also you keep your tokens in your wallet so you don't uh, you don't do you don't have to do anything just leave it there and then you get your reward when the time uh, mature, matures and then you get your staking. There are different uh, way that you can, that of this platform, this company is going to make a stream of income stream for their shareholders. I'm going to go through it with you. The first one, if you look the their AI trading bot you know uh, nowadays a human it's, it's very difficult for a human to trade because there are so many things happening and they have their own they have been testing as they as you read through their uh, white paper they have been testing their uh, AI uh, trading bot and it has been successful in different uh, testing period that they have done. So this is one one of the 
um, a stream of income for the shareholders. The second one, when you the part okay just over there above the client second yeah when you put your money or your your coin in a system so they, it, it allows the people from this this company to have their uh, to have to take part in diff, to to take part in different uh, activities short term and long term medium risk and high risk uh, or low risk uh, trading and because you hold your your tokens they are allowed to do that because because the 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 tokens are available for them to do the staking or the trading you said you you read here part of our income gen, uh, generated over and above the client staking reward will be used to alternative instruments ranging from low to medium risk the staking reward from uh, these will be used to build their client uh, protection fund okay that that means when you uh, when they go and appreciate and uh, they get because you have the tokens in the system they are going to get some uh, some income from them part of the incomes goes to you as a stakeholder and the other one is going to be uh, used for as they say here uh, low um, uh, medium and low risk uh, trading investment investment okay the third one is the uh, the next big major any uh, initiative in initiative that it is scheduled for the end of 2008 that is uh, uh, just um, allow the third party to use their uh, AI bot so other institutions going to use their AI um, uh, trading bot and uh, some of their revenue goes to them and from them to the stakeholders okay and uh, the other one is gamification and that is that uh, people use the tokens in order to transfer the tokens to to use it for um, the gaming uh, gaming uh, processes so that is also the other uh, brawn of income for their stakeholders so this these are four things that they use these uh, for okay so and uh, we go to their their roadmap you see that in January they are going to go to external exchanges and start a contact or sort of start a contact with the external exchange and uh, coin coin exchange at the uh, ether Delta and they are going to contact them and hopefully they start their staking in in February their staking is going to start as I said the lending is just finished they don't know any lending anymore because they want to uh, um, to comply with the regulations because as I said things happen to other other platforms and they want to stay really for a long time it's not a short time but it's a long long term investment so it is a very good thing that they are going to uh, stay here okay that was uh, about it and uh, okay they are going to have their there you can use this mobile wallet app okay in the future and Okay, and hopefully we are going to go to the moon. <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe not. But as I, as always, all of these uh, platforms is 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 uh, risk-full activity. So please, please, please do your own research. And if you do like it, don't take it, don't take my word for it. Just go and 
investigate yourself and then uh, if you want to take part in this uh, uh, this adventure you can join I have a link uh, uh, below if you don't want to use my link never mind use your whoever link you want to use but the opportunity is there to use the link to join them and as soon as they go to uh, exchange it is it is very useful to get to these platforms when they just go to the um, um, to the external exchange or maybe internal exchange that the best way to get to it if you haven't been able to get uh, when you were when it was ICO the best time is ICO uh, actually the best time is pre ICO and after that is ICO and after that the first day it goes to um, to uh, internal exchange and then external exchange why do I say that because when they go to the external uh, internal exchange it is uh, it is not expensive at that point but if you have already investigated and you see the chance of this platform to go higher then you can uh, just invest in this platform and hopefully they can make their um, the promises they, they can come account could come into agreement with their uh, promises and they make money for their shareholders okay that was about it I wanted to uh, uh, give you this information if you like this video please subscribe hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video sayonara